Hello everyone, this is Les with ProLemon and today we'll be doing a review on this tool called Mention. If you're looking for your own SEO tool, you can visit ours at surplus.com to see if it is a tool for you. But let's go ahead and jump right in. So Mention is basically this tool that is trying to help you build your brand awareness and just overall monitor the web, listen to your audience, and manage social media. So it has quite a bit of different features to it or I guess goals to it. So mainly they have the monitor, listen, and publish category I guess you can say. Within the dashboard it does not mention that specific term. But you'll kind of see an, an but you'll kind of see and understand why they discover that. But let's go into the pricing first before we go into our dashboard. Alrighty, here we go, and this is the monthly pricing plans. The annual is going to be different. I'll switch from euros to USD in just a second. So we have the free, the solo, and the pro, pro plus, and the company. So overall, the so overall, the main features are the alerts, the mentions, the social media accounts, and the amount of users. I would definitely say to look more at the mentions and the alerts. Alerts are pretty... We'll, we'll go into exactly what the alerts mean, but it's quite interesting that the alerts are pretty low across the board until you get to the company. I just find that quite interesting, but just keep that in mind on how low they are so this is usd by the way so they do have a free and you can do a free trial with each of these plans except for the company plan so definitely look at which one that you would find the most interesting about and then you can do the free plan with that one so let's go ahead and go into our dashboard alrighty so here is our dashboard and overall i must say in the beginning it was quite confusing to understand what this tool was trying to do so overall what i'll be focusing on is everything but the publish section so the publish section is just scheduling your social media content we've seen that many times before so that's why i won't focus on that but overall let's kind of focus on what you're seeing on my screen so here are the mentions and it's kind of set up like an email this i did not attach my email these I did not attach my email or company email. This is the amount of mentions that you're seeing based off of our brand. So our brand is Pearl Lemon. And as you can see, there's Pearl Lemon across all these different things. So that's what the mentions are. It's how many times people are mentioning your brand. And that's pretty much it in terms of this whole section right here. It kind of works almost like an email. I guess you can say and you can view like oh where is your brand being mentioned and different things like that you could also do certain tasks for the mentions if you want to add any tasks uh, you can also assign tasks for any members if you have a plan with um, users so keep that in mind you can also view the activity as well and that is just the feed section this is where you are monitoring all your mentions in one place and let's go to the alerts because I was mentioning it earlier. So an alert is basically monitoring certain keywords that you put in. And they do a good job of kind of setting it up for you. I did see some cons that said if your brand name or your keyword, anything like that, was like a common word then you are kind of getting information that's not about that word. So, for example, if your tool is about email warm-ups, warm-ups is another word for, like, exercise, different things like that as well, like exercise and workouts. So people were getting things that weren't within their email warm-ups and they were about exercise and workouts different things like that so that's an example but i did want to keep in mind of course you might know that if you have a common word within your brand name but that's always good to mention so basically you just enter any words that you want to personally monitor and they have different setups where you can do that so that's something i want to mention and it's quite cool 
but again you do have a limited amount so that's kind of upsetting to see that we said that we won't mention the publish section because that's where you just schedule your content we do have respond where you could basically manage your social media directly from this tool so you just connect your social media accounts and you could manage your direct messages you can stay on top of the inbox etc and so forth so this is also so this is also helpful so basically the publish and the response section are kind of about social media management kind of tied into this tool as for the influencers you can discover influential channels found within the alerts that you set up and you can collab with them find out more information different things like that and that's pretty much it for that section. We're moving on to our reports and we're almost done. So the report section is basically a place to kind of look at the analytics, but you can build your own report. So I'm just going to click a random one. You can do a social media account analysis or just a report based off of listening, comparative mentions, different things like that, or build your own. I'm just going to put a listening report real quick. It is very easy to set up. You just put the report name, then you select the alert, which is your brand. So I have Pearl Lemon and you get to put a time period as well. I'm going to keep it as the last 30 days and I'll put create report. And here is how it's set up. Now, again, this is one specific report. The other reports are going to be set up similar, but have different information based off of whichever one you chose. So here I have the volume, I have some sources, I have the sentiment on the pie chart and this graph. We have some languages and the countries overall. They have different topics such as different keywords and you get to see those topics one by one as well and their reach. So I'm quite impressed with the report section. I find this very impressive. I've seen no complaints about this section, so I'm quite interested in it. I would have to go back to the pricing plan and I'll come back to see if the if there's a limited amount of reports real quick. So on the pricing plans, I just went to check. It doesn't look like there's a limited amount of reports. So that's really nice. You could constantly do as many as you want to, but overall it doesn't say a limit or unlimited. So I just want to keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it with this tool. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the pros and cons. The pros of this tool, I haven't really seen a tool that kind of monitors brand awareness in this way, such as the mentions and the alerts. I found that quite interesting. This is a quite interesting tool, the way they intertwine that with social, social media management. I just find it quite interesting, but it did take me a while to get used to it. Overall, you can create your personal alerts and keywords and stay up to date on those. You can also create personalized reports, with, which is my favorite. As for the cons, overall, a lot of people have said that it's a bit confusing to adjust at first. You can always book a demo if you want to, but I just wish there were like internal guides to kind of help me out. And as for the alerts, you do have a limited amount with every single pricing plan. So I did want to keep that in mind. If you were particularly interested in the alerts, that's something you probably want to keep an eye out for. Overall, thank you so much for watching today's video. This was quite the interesting tool to kind of understand. It was a bit of a learning curve, but hopefully you were able to kind of understand what they were doing and what they have to offer. I definitely find it quite interesting and I think it could be helpful, but it, it's up to your preference if you kind of like using this tool or not. If you have an alternative that helps with brand awareness or publishing content of any kind, feel free to comment those down below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching.